long time ago in a land far away, there lived a king who was quite ill. All of his subjects were quite concerned about his health. All that is, except one. Thank you for coming, my friends. You have all given me your utmost loyalty. My queen passed away five years ago. And now I'm afraid it's time for me to join my dear wife. And therefore I give my final proclamation. My youngest son Joseph shall inherit my crown. <coughs> my king, you shouldn't speak of such things. If you do, they'll come true. He's right, your majesty. Mm. It should be me. I am the eldest. Yes, sire. I shall inform Joseph immediately. I swear that I shall be the king. While Prince Franz was scheming to inherit his father's kingdom, young Prince Joseph was trying to find a way to save his father's life. Listen, everyone, something must be done at once. Please, there must be some way that we can help the king, for he's become gravely ill. Us, but what Prince can we do? We're but simple, simple peasants. Prince Judas, please please tell us what to do. You're an alchemist. Huh? What can you do for the king? I have many medicines, but my medicines are only simple country cures for ailing children. <sighs> Prince Joseph, we have been to every village in the county, and the story is the same. No one is able to help us, so we'd better return to the castle. Oh, please, somebody must be able to help. Think of all that the king has meant to your families. Was he not there for you when you were in need? If I don't find a remedy for his illness, then my father will be lost for certain. But we know of no remedy, my oh. lord. Prince Joseph, I think we'd better go home. Huh? Hmm, yes. I know what can help eh? the king. Huh? The only thing that can save the king is the water of life. Ah. <sighs> that whoever drank the legendary water of life was instantly cured of whatever ailment afflicted them. Eh, the water of life, you say? If you will allow it, Father, I will go forth at once to search for this water. It is my wish to give back ah. to you the gift of hmm. life. From what I have heard, it's impossible for a mortal man to obtain the water of life. Hmm. Not impossible, ah. sire. But very difficult, since one must enter the evil forest. It is far too dangerous, Joseph. <laughs> Father, I am not afraid huh? of the dark forest. It is the duty of the eldest son to journey anywhere in the world to save his father's life. Sire, I shall not return without the water of life. No, my brother, I shall find it. My brother, you are not practiced in the ways of knighthood. It would be far too dangerous for you, and I could not stand the thought of my brother perishing. I'll be all right. It is my duty as the eldest. And so Franz set off in search of the water. He felt certain that if he were the one to find it, he would inherit his father's kingdom. Whoa! You there! Wake up! I'm talking to you! What's the matter with you? Are you deaf? Now tell me, what is the name of this place? What a rude young man you are for disturbing my afternoon nap. Your opinion mm -hmm. doesn't concern me, Gnome. Your afternoon nap will have to wait. Uh, <laughs> you'd better be careful how you treat me, young man, because you don't know who you're dealing with. Show some respect. Respect? I'll show you the tip of my sword, Ouch. Ouch. Leave me alone. Ow, ow, ow. Now answer me. You'd better be careful. You're making me angry. I am not afraid of the likes of you. Is that so? Earth to wind as murk to mire. Show this boy who's made of fire. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you, truly. Your sword offends me. Oh, my. How did that get there? <laughs> now you'll see what happens to fools uh, like you. <laughs> Farewell. For his insolent behavior, Prince Franz had been banished to the Valley of No Return. After several days had passed with no word of Franz's whereabouts, Prince Joseph himself set forth, more determined than ever, to find the water of life. Whoa! Excuse me, sir, but I seem to have lost my way. I'm sorry if I disturbed your nap. I didn't mean to wake you up. I was wondering if you might happen to know if this is the place known as the Evil Forest. Uh, why should I tell you whether it is or not? I suppose you don't have to tell me, but I'm on a mission to save my ailing father's life. So then it's a mission of kindness which brings you here. Indeed, you are in the Evil Forest, young man, but I fail to understand what you could find here that would help your father. The Water of Life. Might you happen to know where I can find it? 
I'm sorry, no. Oh? Hmm. But there's no need to worry, for I do know someone who will know exactly where this water of life is located. <sighs> oh. I mean you no harm. There's no need to be frightened. you would be willing to tell this young man the whereabouts of this thing called the Water of Life? He says he needs it to save the life of his father. Hmm? If anyone knows, please say so. Oh, huh? look, here comes the North Wind. Oh, rain, hey. I'm sorry I'm so late getting here, but there was a storm in the South Forest that needed tending to. You're really the North Wind? Of course I'm the North Wind. What's the matter with him? Is this the boy that seeks the Water of Life? The evil castle is not a place for such a young man. But that is not for me to say. Yes, I'll tell you, but you must promise to be careful. The evil castle is far away, at least a day's ride past the Valley of No Return. The water of life comes from a spring below the castle and flows from a fountain in the castle courtyard. The evil castle appears only when the moon is full, but once the moon sets behind the mountains, the castle slips back into the watery darkness and is gone until the next full moon. You must make your way past the evil spirits using the magic of the moonlight. Then go to the courtyard and gather the water quickly before the moon sets, lest you disappear with the castle, never to be seen again. So I must retrieve the water of life and do it before the moon sets, or both myself and my father will be lost forever. Hmm, we seem to have a visitor. My, what a strange place. Hello, is there anyone here? Hello? My name is Prince Joseph, and I don't mean anyone harm. Can you hear me? Oh. Huh? I thought I heard someone behind that door. Just empty suits of armor. I think. Aren't they? Museum in there. Huh. Ah! Oh. What was that? Help! Help! Somebody, please help me! I can't help you unless you tell me where you are. Somewhere under the museum. Just keep talking. I'll find you. Please hurry! I'm so frightened. Huh? Uh oh. I'd better go this way. had little time to spare, for the moon was about to set behind the mountain. Huh? I'd better hurry up or I'll be trapped in here myself. Where are you? Please stand me. She must be in here. Oh, don't <gasps> You found us good. We've been expecting you. Quickly. Of the moonlight. Yes, of course, the moonlight. 
Magic of the moonlight, break the evil spell! gone forever. You saved me by destroying the evil spirit of the castle. It was my pleasure. <laughs> we must get out of the castle before the moon sets. Do you know where I must go to find the water of life? The water of life flows from that fountain. Hurry now, you must leave the castle. I'll stay behind to gather some of the water. But I don't even know who you are. I am known as Joseph to my friends. Hurry now, you must go. his sword. Prince Joseph the Benevolent. Oh. <sighs> prince Joseph had told the princess why he had to return at once with the precious water of life. But before he parted, he had vowed that when his father was well again, he would court the princess in the manner to which she was entitled. strength. Uh, don't try and move. I'm here now and I'll be able to help. No, it's too late. No one can help me now. No, it's not. The water of life shall save you. You should feel better in a minute. My strength is returned. I've completely recovered. It's a miracle, my brother. You've been drinking this, the water of life. So, Joseph, you did find it. Father will be saved. Yes, he will. Yet I shall give it to Father, not you. Come, there's not a moment to spare. Hmm, yes. That'll work. I'll switch the waters on him. <laughs> when the two princes arrived at the castle, there was much rejoicing. Prince Joseph has returned. Long live the king. Mm -hmm. Father, I have returned and brought with me the water of life. Please, you must drink some. I'm sure it took a great deal of courage to get it. I'm proud of you, son. Father, you must drink. <coughs> yes, drink from Joseph's poisoned water. My, it's so bitter. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. goodness. I don't understand. The water of life should help. Just as I suspected, hmm? Joseph hasn't brought the water of life at all. He's trying to poison you, Father. That's not true. Franz, you know that isn't true. Fear not, Your Highness. I shall save you. I have brought you the real water of life. Drink from this. Thank you, Franz. Huh? Oh. Oh. Thanks to the true water of life, you will feel completely well again. Mm. Why, I am completely recovered. I feel wonderful. It's a miracle. Oh. His Majesty is well yes. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother, it would appear that your scheme has failed. But I'm sure that mine was the water of life. It worked when I gave it to you. I've heard enough. Hmm? You are banished from my kingdom. Well, at least my father's all right. Plotted your demise all along. Why, I can hardly believe it. He failed with the water. Still, he will try again. I'm certain he will. <sighs> it's a pleasant afternoon to be hunting, but my heart's not in it. After what happened yesterday between you and the king, I felt that an expedition might be good for you. I was sure that it was my flask which contained the water of life. Joseph's companion had been commanded by the king to make certain that the young prince never returned. That's not important, though. Mm. What's important is that my father is well again. Mm. Why are you so solemn? What's the matter with you, my friend? I've never seen you acting so sad. Huh? Mm. 
Forgive me, Joseph. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I just can't do it. What are you talking about? It's your brother's doing. He's convinced your father that you're trying to steal his throne from him. I was commanded to do away with you. So, this is all my brother's doing. Ugh. My son, Prince Joseph, is planning to steal the crown. Franz has told me this, and I believe him. Joseph is a traitorous scoundrel. He tried to poison me. And to think, he would do this to me after he knew he'd been chosen as the next king. He's no longer my son, he's my enemy, and must be dealt with accordingly. It's Franz. This is all his fault. It makes perfect sense to me now. He switched my water with a poison. I do believe that's what happened. But what can we do now? What's done is done. You have no choice. You must do as you've been commanded or it will mean your life. As a knight, you must obey your king. Huh? Mm. No, I can't. There must be some other way. There is no other way. You must do your duty. There is a way. Leave your father's kingdom forever. Then this is farewell, my friend. Sire, your son Joseph no longer lives in your kingdom. At last, I can rest assured that my father will be safe. Yes, your loyalty to the crown shall not be forgotten. I thank you for your kindness, Prince. Yet, with all due respect, I must leave the castle. But you are one of my bravest knights. I'm sorry, sire. My decision is final. I can no longer serve his lordship with a clear conscience. Farewell. Ha! Well then, who needs you? Farewell. I don't blame him for leaving. So much for Joseph. I've become tired. I must rest. <laughs> the kingdom is mine. It was proclaimed throughout the land that a gala celebration would be held in honor of Prince Franz's coronation. Oh, I hope I'm not too late! I'm terribly sorry for interrupting such an important ceremony, but I have an urgent message for your majesty. I am Princess Anna. My father's kingdom lies a day beyond the Valley of No Return. My father and I learned of the coronation of your son. I've come to offer my hand to him. A gracious offer, Princess. Huh? Well, son, what do you say? Seems like quite a lovely young lady to me. Hmm? But where is the prince I am to marry? He is here. This is Prince Franz. No, I don't mean him. I came to marry Joseph, who saved me when he was gathering the water of life. Ah! Joseph, you say? You had better explain what she means, Franz. I am a prince of the realm. I needn't huh? explain anything. Franz, out of my that, way! Traitor. Sire! Sire, I don't understand what happened to your son, Prince Joseph. That's who I came to marry. I have made a horrible mistake. Joseph is gone forever. How could I have fallen for such a trick? Joseph is gone, his life taken by my own command. Oh! oh. It can't be true! Oh! oh. 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 Princess, no! <laughs> wake up, Princess Anna. Please wake up. The princess set out upon her long journey home with a heavy heart, believing that she would never again see her beloved Prince Joseph. Oh, why is life so unfair? Why? <laughs> Can we stop for water, Princess? I guess so. <laughs> All right, men, that's far enough. Stop! Go to that house and get some water for the Princess. Please, good people, if you would find it in your hearts to spare us some water, we would appreciate it. Of course, sir. It would be our pleasure. <gasps> that voice! I recognize that voice! Joseph? That's impossible, Princess. Oh, 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 Princess. oh, Princess Anna, you must be careful. Yes, I'll try. Here's your water, ma'am. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Ah. Tell me, what name do you go by, kind sir? <laughs> well, around here, I'm simply known as Joseph to my friends. Huh? Why, why it's you. Wake up. The prince and princess had finally been reunited, never to be parted again. <laughs> well, well, it looks like my little scheme worked. It 
would appear that my prince will be happy after all. And as the fates are kind to those who love deeply and truly, they lived happily ever after.